Okay, annual percentage yield, sorry, that's misspelled, um, is the percentage rate that if you compound it annually would yield the same return as the given interest rate with the given compounding period. So that sounds kind of complicated, but basically what we want to do when we find the annual percentage yield is we're talking about um, if we have that $2,000 that we're investing and we say, what about what will happen after a year? Um, so we're going to put a 1 plus x <laughs> in, and uh, then on the right side, we have 2,000, 1 plus the interest rate. Compounded quarterly. So over 4. Okay, and then our time is we're talking about after one year. So what's we're, gonna, gonna we're just going to have 4 for the exponent. So it's going to be 4 times 1, which is 4. It looks great. That looks awesome. It looks totally disgusting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Epic, actually. Okay. So, um, but this one plus x over here has to do with with basically um, that's the percentage that we're trying that to we're be, trying to get. Right. The the actual yearly percentage as opposed to compounding four times. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So to solve this out. We would, this is just a number mm -hmm. that you just type into your calculator. Yeah, you just put it in there. Figure it out. I will uh, number it up right now. The 2000s, by the way, they're Dunskis. They're oh, yeah, because you could divide both sides mm -hmm. by 2000. Mm -hmm. That's just super convenient. Super indeed. So that's 1 plus x equals that number that Mr. Hazelwood's finding right now. Doing it right now. 1.05. Two five yeah, minus and then one, and then minus, minus one, and one. so the actual annual percentage yield is point zero the five equivalent two five. to compounding four times a year. Yeah, so that so yeah, if we uh, if we wanted to do five point one five percent annual interest, but we're compounding it quarterly, that's equivalent to just having five point two five percent. Right, just, just one, one time, time a year. year. Right, you'll so, get the same amount of money after the same amount of years. Exactly. Yeah.